Nothing beats a compact 9mm handgun to protect yourself and your family. If you're going for an EDC, purchasing a Taurus G2C or a Sig Sauer 365 is a no-brainer. Although a compact, semi-automatic pistol offers you everything you need for CCW and self-defense, the snub nose revolver, or the snubby, packs a more powerful punch. Snubbies are a compact force to be reckoned with. With their unwavering reliability, ease of use, and quick response, these small frame revolvers should definitely feel right at home in your holster. In this video, I will help you choose a suitable snub nose revolver for you. Number 7. Kimber K6 is 357 Magnum Revolver. It's a 357 Magnum stainless steel six shooter with a 10 pound trigger pull, but it's compact enough to be used as a CCW. It's also snag free, all thanks to the non exposed hammer. The Dow trigger pull might be heavy for some, but it doesn't stack. It has a removable front and rear dovetail sights, and you can find a lot of aftermarket options for sights and grips as well. I recommend you go for black 3-dot sights or a textured cylinder release for better operation. Speaking of grips, the K6 is has one of the most comfortable grips with great ergonomics that both big and small hands can get used to. It's 6.62 inches long and 1.39 inches wide with a slim cylinder, so it's easily concealed as an IWB carry. This is a stainless steel revolver with a small frame and a short barrel of 2 inches. The weight clocks in at 23 ounces, but you can expect great durability and sturdiness. In a nutshell, it should serve you for a long time. Overall, this is a heavy snubby with manageable recoil and a non-stack trigger. The trigger may be difficult to pull, but with the K6 is you get unmatched reliability. If you're looking for something along these lines, you can also check out the Rock Island Armory M206.38 Special Caliber. Number 6. Charter Arms Off-Duty 38 Special Revolver. Here's another concealed carry that has withstood the test of time, passing all reliability tests with flying colors. The Charter Arms Off-Duty is a nice little double action, snag-free CCW that can be a great addition to your backup handgun collection. It's a 38 special caliber with a 5 round cylinder, fixed sights, 4 point cylinder lockup, and an internal hammer with block safety. The stainless steel barrel and cylinder and the aircraft grade aluminum alloy construction offer a lightweight feel at 12 ounces, and it's small enough for a purse concealed carry gun as well. However, it can kick like a mule in the untrained hand, and the uncontrollable muzzle rise doesn't help either. The rubberized combat grip soaks up some of that brute force, and although it's not a handgun for larger hands, you can find a lot of grip alternatives on the market. The coolest feature is definitely the reloading. It's easy and fast with the left side cylinder release, and you can expect major firepower with a 357 Magnum as well. Number 5. Smith & Wesson Model 642 38 Special Plus P. The Smith & Wesson 642 Centennial Airweight Series has been a classic since 1952, and there has been no need for improvement since then because it's a highly versatile and reliable revolver. The manufacturer's idea was to design a lightweight, hammerless revolver with a grip for larger hands. It's a compact, reliable, and cost-effective solution for self-defense and home defense. The 642 Airway J-Frame can also be used as a backup handgun. Constructed with an aluminum alloy frame, 6 inches overall length, stainless steel barrel, and synthetic grips, the Smith & Wesson 642 is a great compact revolver that's as light as a feather. However, since it's lightweight, you may come across muzzle rise problems. It's accurate and acquires targets well, but the recoil may be tough on your hands. It's chambered in 38 Special Plus P, but you can also find the 357 Magnum caliber versions easily, and the difference can be felt. Number 4. Ruger SP-101 357 Magnum Revolver. The Ruger SP-101 spurless carry gun has a double action only trigger with a transfer bar, and it's pretty easy to pull. What's great about this wheel gun is the ease of operation and reliability, which make it a great piece for EDC use. This is a solid concealment option with a 2.25-inch barrel and 7.2 inches overall length. It's heavy, with the empty weight clocking in at 25 ounces, but the snag-free design makes things easier when unholstering. It's a 5-shot. 
It has a durable, stainless steel construction, a bladed front sight, fixed rear sights, synthetic grips for recoil cushioning, a five-round cylinder, and the stopping power of a 357 Magnum. The triple locking cylinder improves cylinder to barrel alignment and this makes for great accuracy. The downsides are that it's heavy and the 5 round cylinder and 357 Magnum muzzle rise and recoil don't do much better for target requisition than most semi-automatic pistols, personal defense handguns. But with the proper practice, this won't be much of an issue for you. Number 3. Smith & Wesson 340 PD Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolvers have been popular carry options for decades. They're low maintenance and don't require frequent oiling or delinting after months of carry. The muzzle can be pressed against the attacker and the gun will still fire at contact range. The Smith & Wesson 340 PD can also be easily carried in the pocket. This makes continual, daily carry a breeze for those who will not carry a larger handgun and provides a discreet option for those who need deep concealment. Some hammerless models can even be fired from inside a coat pocket or bag. The Smith & Wesson 340 PD is definitely not the best gun for target shooting or fun at the range, but it wasn't designed for that. This is a carry pistol by nature. This doesn't mean it's not accurate, however. The pistol demonstrated superb accuracy for self-defense at close ranges. The heavy double action trigger and short sight radius are something you have to train to get used to. Recoil was another matter. Firing was absolutely bearable with 38 special target loads, similar to your standard air weight revolvers. 38 special plus P defense loads were noticeably more powerful, but still controllable. Number 2. Colt King Cobra Carry 357 Magnum Revolver. This list wouldn't be complete without a Colt. The manufacturer went all in with this one. While most customers would find this heavy for a CCW, some gun enthusiasts will appreciate the classic six-shot feel with the Colt King Cobra Harry 357 caliber. It's a six-shooter that packs a punch with a solid steel frame and a two-inch short barrel, bobbed hammer, and a relatively light dow trigger pull. Double action only triggers are regarded as very safe, and although it takes a while to get used to it, any newbie can quickly learn how to handle this snub-nosed revolver. You receive hog overmolded grips for felt recoil cushioning, and it also has a brass bead front sight for accuracy and fast target acquisition. This is a heavyweight champion of snubbies, clocking in at 26 ounces, which is the complete opposite of a lightweight CCW. Number 1. Ruger LCR 38 Smith & Wesson Special Revolver Plus P. I bet you've seen this little number everywhere. The Ruger LCR 38 Special Revolver Plus P is an impressive rework of the 1989 Ruger SP 101 Snubby, as it's a more compact version with a 1.87 barrel length. LCR stands for Lightweight Compact Revolver and is available almost everywhere in various other calibers like the 357 or 22. The reason why the Ruger LCR 38 Special Plus P is so popular is because it's an affordable, reliable, and hammerless snubby that won't snag on your clothing when unholstered. The Ruger LCR offers great accuracy for a 38 Special Plus P with a non-stacking, double-action trigger pull which is relatively easy in contrast to the others on this list. It also features a fluted steel cylinder that reduces its weight and a PVD finish that will last a long time. The only thing that might be a deal-breaker is that it isn't a six-shooter. This really doesn't feel like a downside, because in self-defense situations you almost always need just a few shots, and this can prove more than enough, but still. 